the former spokeswoman for the 2016 Trump campaign, current senior advisor to his 2020 campaign, Katrina Pearson, as I promised, back tonight live to comment. It's great to have you two nights in a row, but let's try to get this you, straight tonight so we don't have to have you a third night in a row. <laughs> let's do so it. So apparently Omar Omarosa was watching us last night because I understand I just got an email that she told Trevor Noah at The Daily Show. She heard you tell me you knew nothing about a conference call, uh, talking about whether the president used an N-word. You said this was a movie script. So she says she released at least one of these audio tapes to show you lied to us. Well, look, first of all, that's not true as well. So there are two things that occurred last night in our discussion. You had read for me a book ex excerpt mm -hmm. that I had not seen because her book had not come out yet. And you referenced me having been speaking to the president about this issue, and that is false. We have transcripts today of the tapes that Omarosa released that proves that to be true. Also, I will say that Omarosa actually played CBS today, Ed. How so? She has been on this campaign trail or on her little book trail. Mm -hmm. And when in her interview with Chuck Todd and Savannah Guthrie, that's she NBC. made a specific yeah. claim yeah. about me. Uh -huh. And that's what I have been addressing in all of my interviews. Okay, so let's just get to the point here. Let's play the clip from last night. Uh, I was asking you about uh, the president talking to longtime aide Lynn Patton about whether or not he had used the N-word. Let's play that and we'll get to the facts. A longtime Trump aide reported she asked Trump about it on the plane, specifically whether it was possible such a tape might exist, and he said no. Then she, Katrina, asked him what he wanted her to do, and he said, put it to bed. Katrina cursed and said, he said it. Did that happen? <laughs> no, Ed. That did not happen. It sounds like she's writing a script for a movie. Uh, you know, I've already been out there uh, talking about this. That is absolutely not true. So you referenced a moment ago that the second time I said she last night, I said she, Katrina Pearson, when the book says she, Lynn Patton. Yes. So I apologize. That was an honest mistake. That does not change the substance, Katrina, of the very fact that you're now claiming today there were two different phone calls. And you were talking about one with Jason Miller. Well, first, I'm not no, claiming no, that. Me, I'm not claiming that, Ed. Okay, CBS well, you told released, me that several times today. CBS, that CBS released had one two team. calls. Okay, so let me get to the facts. I don't, I don't want to get to side issues. Bottom line is you're saying there's one call with Jason Miller, one without Jason Miller. Let's yes. we'll get to Miller in a second. The one without Jason Miller on CBS, Omarosa says, according to a transcript you provided me of part they have not aired yet, Omarosa says, yeah, it's out there, meaning the N-word tape. It's just, and Katrina Pearson cuts in, yeah, he said it, ah, bleep, okay. That is a rough, roughly what she said in the book, that you cursed, as I asked you last night, and you said he said it. He used the N-word. You denied that to me last night. Absolutely. Time. You know why? Because I'm refuting a claim that Omarosa made, and I'll say it again, on Chuck Todd and Savannah Guthrie. Let's not talk but, about Chuck Todd. Let's no, talk about this no, tape. We're talking Hang about on. Hang, pardon me. I'm going to be I polite made. to you, but no, no, no. The I'm not going to do side issues. Pardon me. Let me tell no, no, you no, what no, I'm no. refuting. The, she made the a claim that I said. The tape says that you said he said it. Absolutely You told not. me you never absolutely said that. You're not. on tape. That is not what we were talking about. you were on tape. That is not the question that you were asking me. This was in regards to a specific discussion. Check the tapes of what she said on Chuck Todd and Savannah Guthrie. She specifically said that I said and confirmed that Donald Trump said a derogatory term on a conference call with Jason Miller. That did okay, not happen. We'll get to Jason that Miller is what in a I'm second. refuting. What two happened today, tapes. Ed, what happened today is Omarosa yeah. submitted two different tapes to okay. CBS I'm gonna and they were two conflated different tapes. We're not going to get sidetracked one. by two different tapes. No, we have to. Tapes. We're not going to be sidetracked. No, 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 no. Pardon me. It's you, our show. Hang on one second. That there Pardon are me. two different tapes. I will admit there's two tapes. I'm going to explain them. But first of all, I'm going, to, I'm going to leave this discussion. And, and the fact of the matter is today you clarified and said, no, I just said, yes, he moved, he used the N-word because I wanted to move the conversation along with That was Omarosa. a different discussion. Okay. There's multiple discussions. Why yeah. didn't you, if that's the truth, why didn't you tell me, Ed, you know, I don't know all the details of this book. I haven't seen it. But I did say, yes, he used the N-word to move the conversation along. Because you didn't say that last night. You I changed asked, the story the today. The question I was asked about this conference call with Jason Miller, the answer is no. That was not said. The transcript is right here. Both calls. The, said, the first call that you're talking about where mm -hmm. she's claiming that I said that was in a totally different call where she was arguing with Lynn Patton about the existence of this okay. tape. But let me explain something to you. I'll Omarosa, give you one last thing, yeah. Omarosa has been 
using this tape to manipulate people. She is a bully. She is pushy. She okay. is a dog with a bone with okay. this tape. You keep and using people dog. We're going to get to that her. in a moment, too. People but pardon me. placated you just keep her attacking her. Let's go to facts and not attacks. Okay? Absolutely. So you keep talking about Jason Miller. That's the second call. And based on That's the, the call she's referencing. Okay. So let's get to that call. Let's get to the substance. On that call, you say in your statement today that basically um, we were just sifting through rumors. Yes, and the Jason says. Miller call, he was a campaign aide. In fact, we have the transcript that you provided. Yeah. Okay, and here's what is on the tape. Jason Miller says, it's kind of tough to go out and draft something, meaning a statement about whether the president used the N-word, when you don't even know what the context is. You know, I hate to start emailing stuff around that's when true. we're just not, that's sifting through rumors. Guess what Katrina Pearson says? Yes. It's true. So you were said, not that's just sifting true. That's true. You don't want to go around making these accusations you and said, coming up with statements. No, it's true. Hang that on. is very true. No, and if you're you not back up, the Lynn you didn't say, says the same thing. Hang on. You just misquoted yourself. You just said, I said, that's true. No. You said, it's true. The audio As says, him it's using true. The that's true. You don't want to make those kinds of claims. If you back up, Lynn Patton says that's true because we're actually talking about there is no evidence. We are saying in this transcript that there is absolutely nothing we can find. There's just rumors and innuendo about this tape, and it is true that we cannot move forward with this without so it. So you just use the term dog. The president called Omarosa a dog. I was talking to you before the show. You have a son. You always, in private, talk to him about him. You love him very much. I'm, not, I'm going to leave the president out of this. Mm -hmm. Do you raise your son to call a woman, any woman in this country, a dog? Well, this isn't about my son. No, we're talking no I'm not going to let you do that. No, we're talking about would you, would someone it be appropriate who for built your son her entire for me? career okay, we'll leave your son of this man. Pardon me. This is a Pardon personal me. issue me. between Donald Trump Pardon and me. Omarosa. Let's leave your son out of it then, and we'll leave the president out of it. Would it be appropriate for me to call a woman a dog, yes or no? It depends on what she did it to depends? you, Ed. It depends on what she did to you. Call I don't know what she dog? did to you. She, Omarosa bit the hand that fed her. To me, that's what a dog is. The president has referenced several men as dogs, like Ted Cruz, like Mick Romney, like Brett Bozell. He has said this to a number of people. This is not just for Omarosa. Take off your Trump hat. As a woman, you think it's appropriate for any man to call a woman a dog, really? Look, as a woman, as a strong black woman, I think everyone should be able to defend themselves the best way they see fit, Ed. Katrina Pearson, I appreciate you coming back. Thanks for having me. All right.